if you're like me, you're probably stressing out about your well because you have pesticides in there, etc. So I've already put in an under sink filter, a good one, and you can see it here. So there, there's my under sink filter. I've got, uh, you know, a sediment filter at the beginning of the well, and I've got a reverse osmosis. I'm still testing positive for um, pesticides. So I'm going to try the zero water pitcher. It's worked excellent in my other house. It has a well as well. So I'm thinking to myself, maybe this thing is going to give me zero because even after all these filters, my water is still testing with this thing right here, which comes with the zero water at about 350 particles. Again, what kind of particles? Well, we don't know, except we did test it. We bought the tester and it's coming out particles of pesticides. Who wants to drink pesticide, right? We're not a roach. So I'm hoping the zero water filters everything out because at my other well, in my other location, I'm only getting about seven to 10 particles um, testing with this little thing here. And then after I filter it, we're at down about four, three or four, which is excellent. So um, again, I'm doing one batch, which looks real brown here. And it shouldn't look brown. Reverse osmosis, pre-filter, under sink filter. By now, it should be drinkable, but it's not. So will the zero water do it? Because I bought one of those, um, you know, pitchers that you buy on on uh, Amazon. They're like 200 bucks, and the expensive ones are like 700 bucks, and they're like stainless steel. They kind of look like a... They kind of look like this thing, but they're not. You know, they're two other those things stacked together, and they're supposed to have two super filters. Still reading in the 300s after that piece of crap. Now, I'm thinking the zero water is going to do the trick for me. So let me just see here. I've got enough to test it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pour. Now, I've gone ahead and poured, and the comparison here between this stuff that's coming out and this brown stuff here is remarkable. Look at that. Looks clear, definitely, but is it drinkable? Let's go ahead and give it the test. I'm going to take my little filter here, uncap it, and we're going to, it's already on. I don't know why it's on. Somebody left it on, but anyway, there it is. So I'm going to put it in there, see the results. Whoa, I was not expecting this. I'm wondering, here's what I'm wondering. I'm wondering if by leaving it off, I fried the thing, so... Let's just make sure. Okay, so it's off now. Somebody left it on, which is pissing me off. I'm going to put it in here again. I'm at zero. I'm going to test it in the pre-water, which I know that was... Oh, yes, the pre... It's not a bad filter. Look at that. 350 before it's going into the filter. Huh? And after the filter, it's definitely... And I'm not sure if I'm getting enough... Two... I wasn't sure if I was getting enough, but it's two, people, two. It's my, from 350 to two. Zero water filter does it. 